Presentation number three for Management Information Systems by Team 12. Michael Kofi, David Franco, Vicky Lee. Portfolio Management Tool, Boston Consulting Group Matrix, also known as BCG Matrix. What is the BCG Matrix? The BCG Matrix, or also called BCG Model, relates to marketing. The BCG model is a well-known portfolio management tool used in product life cycle theory. It's a four-cell matrix and it's the most famous corporate portfolio analysis tool. It provides a graphic representation for an organization to examine different businesses in its portfolio on the basis of their related market share and industry growth rates. It is a two-dimensional analysis on management of SBUs, strategic business units. In other words, it is a comparative analysis of business potential and the evaluation of the environment. According to this matrix, business could be classified as high or low according to their industry growth rate and relative market share. Also, it can determine what priorities should be given in the product portfolio of a business unit. To ensure long-term value creation, a company should have a portfolio of products that contain both high growth product in need of cash inputs or low growth products that generate a lot of cash. How does it work? The analysis requires that the relative market share and market growth rate are both calculated for each strategic business unit. The dimension of business strength and relative market share will measure comparative advantage indicated by market dominance. The key theory underlying this is the existence of an experience curve and that the market share is achieved due to overall cost leadership. BCG matrix has four cells with the horizontal axis representing relative market share and the vertical axis representing the market growth rate. The midpoint of relative market share is set to 1.0. If all strategic business units are in the same industry, the average growth rate of the industry is used. If all the strategic business units are located in different industries, then the midpoint is set at the growth rate for the economy. Resources are allocated to the business units according to their situation on the grid. The four cells of the matrix have been called as stars, cash cows, question marks, and dogs. Each of these cells represent a particular type of business. Stars. Stars represent business units having large market share in a fast-growing industry. For example, Walmart. A high market share where everyone wants cheap products, which results in a high growth business. Stars may generate cash, but because of fast growing market, they require huge investments to maintain their lead. Net cash flow is usually modest. Strategic business units located in this cell are as attractive as they are located in a robust industry, and these businesses are highly competitive in the industry. If successful, a star will become a cash cow when the industry matures. Cash cows. Cash cows represent business units having a large market share in a mature, slow-growing industry. For instance, Pepsi, a business that is not growing but makes lots of profit in the meantime. Cash cows require little investment and generate cash that can be utilized for investments in other business units. These strategic business units are the corporation's key source of cash and are specifically the core business. They are the base of an organization. These businesses usually follow stability strategies. If cash cows lose their appeal and move towards curation, then a retrenchment policy may be pursued. Question marks. Question marks represent business units having low relative market share and located in a high growth industry. For example, Growers Garage. Small market share, but big demand for car repairs and car safety checkups. They require a huge amount of cash to maintain or gain market share. They require attention to determine if the venture can be viable. Question marks are generally new goods and services which have a good commercial perspective. There is no specific strategy which can be adopted. If the firm thinks it has dominant market share, then it can adopt expansion strategy. Else retrenchment strategy can be adopted. Most businesses start as question marks as the company tries to enter a high growth market in which there is already a market share. If ignored, then question marks may become dogs. 
while if huge investment is made, then they have potential of becoming stars. Dogs. Dogs represent businesses having weak market shares in low growth markets. For instance, a small town theater is a business with low market growth rate and small market share. They neither generate cash nor require a huge amount of cash. Due to low market share, these business units face cost disadvantages. Generally, retrenchment strategies are adopted because these businesses can gain market share only at the expense of competitors or rival firms. These business firms have weak market share because of high cost, poor quality, and effective marketing, among others. Unless a dog has some other strategic aim, it should be liquidated if there is fewer prospects for it to gain market share. Number of dogs should be avoided and minimized in an organization. Other uses and benefits. If a company is able to use the experience curve to its advantage, it should be able to manufacture and sell new products at a price that is low enough to get early market share leadership. Once it becomes a start, it is destined to be profitable. BCG model is helpful for managers to evaluate balance in the firm's current portfolio of stars, cash cows, question marks, and dogs. BCG method is applicable to large companies that seek volume and experience effects. The model is simple and easy to understand. It provides a base for management to decide and prepare for future actions. Limitations. The BCG matrix is not free from limitations. BCG matrix classifies businesses as low and high, but generally businesses can be medium also. Thus, the true nature of business may not be reflected. Market is not clearly defined in this model. High market share does not always lead to high profits. There are high costs also involved with high market share. Growth rate and relative market share are not the only indicators of profitability. This model ignores and overlooks other indicators of profitability. At times, docs may help other businesses in gaining competitive advantage. They can earn even more than cash cows sometimes. This four-cell approach is considered as to be too simplistic. Presentation number three for management information systems by team 12.